When Chris Dorner trained his gun on the LAPD, when he released a manifesto addressed to America subject last resort, we knew it was clearly a suicide note. I take no joy in the blood on his hands, nor his burnt body, but it comes as no great shock in the throes of PTSD that some policemen look like overseers even now. So yes, when he quoted D.H. Lawrence, I never saw a wild thing feel sorry for itself. When he said that he had exhausted all other options, I wanted to tell him to run. Not because he was innocent, but even the foreshadow of defeat is enough to awaken the adrenaline. When your bones remember the burning, I wanted to tell him to run. Not for himself, nor his own own iron hands, but for Fred Hampton, and Malcolm X, and Martin Luther King Jr., and Amadou Diallo, and Troy Davis, and Trayvon Martin, and Paul Childs, and Romarley Graham, and Sean Bell, and Oscar Grant, and Rakia Boyd, and Timothy Stansbury, and Orlando Barlow, and Aaron Campbell, and Victor Steen, and Stephen Washington, and Alonzo Ashley, and Wendell Allen, and Ayanna Jones, and Ronald Madison, and Marvin Booker, and James Brissett, and John Crawford III, and Eric Garner, and Barbara Dawson, and Mike Brown, and Tamir Rice, and Walter Scott, and Cameron Tillman, and Eric Harris, and Sandra Bland, and Alton Sterling, and Philando Castile, and Alva Brazil, and so many more names that I will never know. And I did not know any of these people, but damned if they couldn't have all been my family. And I know they say it's not a war, but damned if I don't feel like an insurgent sometimes. And no, I have never killed anyone, but have long since admitted that I could. I mean, America, you got big guns. I ain't scared, though, not with this working womb. America, you thought the Black Panther free breakfast program was scary? You ain't met me yet. I mean... We've been through a lot, America. I think that now, now for every one of our children you allow to be murdered, I will make two with brothers gully as they come, all grit and swagger and knuckle and earth and gleam, beards all unapologizing, brothers who won't smile at you, brothers who ain't never been afraid of you, brothers who smell just like the sun. We will raise our babies together like militia ticking. We will detonate them on your college campuses, at your job, in your neighborhood. We will suck up all the financial aid. We will teach Fred Hampton in the classroom until his blood can stop screaming. You don't want it with we, America. We, black mothers, are angry as ever, are fertile as ever, and unafraid of our children. I'm not leaving, America. We will take over the schools and send your daughters home smiling like Patty Hearst, America. You feeling me now? You fearing me now? Now I might even have your babies, America. They will be black too. America, this is a war. America, I will send my sons to all your corners. You will be needing their light, America. This is no manifesto. This is a love poem. Making love is the only way I know how to save you. Your hatred and fear are a cancer. Your teeth are rotting from your head. America, now is the time to call on whatever God you pray to. Give thanks for my brilliant sons. Yes, there will be sons, black sons, and we will call them all Jamal and and rock him, and we will love them, America. We will love them. We're not dying, America. We will live forever. Whoa.